He's at arms. She is an amazing lady and a blessing to everyone who knows her. We thank you for her service to our country during the war, and we thank you for her gracious service to our church and community. We pray for continued health and blessings for her. Bless her family and watch over them. Keep them safe. Thank you, Lord, for the food and fellowship provided today. Bless the hands that have prepared this food. May it strengthen and nourish us and be present in our conversations and at our tables. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powerful opening ceremony. And the reason it's so powerful is because Pat is one of the threads that we stay plugged into a community. It's not just a location, it's not just a zip code, it's a community. And the reason we have community is because of people like Pat. And so it is our honor to have Mary Nathan Blackwell here as she recognizes Pat as part of the fabric of our community. Mayor, please step forward. That's golf coat my classic key bargain though. Uh, I've seen the two tier cakes before, but I've never seen a three digit cake before. That's exciting. I have a proclamation that we'd like to share with you on behalf of the city. For as an esteemed and treasured citizen, Miss Dorothy Jean Pat Rudd is celebrating her 100th birthday on August the 29th, 2021. And whereas Pat has the distinction of being the first Navy service woman to be deployed to Pearl Harbor in 1941, where her efforts to teach servicemen to read were invaluable to many. And whereas Pat has been a South and St. Cloud resident since, nine, since 2013 and enjoys a variety of activities, including being recipient of the 2017 St. Cloud Senior Citizen Center Queen. And whereas Pat is a friend to all in her community and continues to inspire and benefit others by sharing her knowledge, creativity, volunteer efforts and experience. And whereas we have the distinguished pleasure of celebrating the center centurion birthday with pat where she should be honored for her 100 years of making a significant difference on this earth 
Now, therefore, I, Nathan Blackwell, Mayor of St. Cloud, Florida, do hereby honor Miss Dorothy Jean Patrud for her long life that has been truly well lived and wish her continued health and happiness in the years to come. The city of St. Cloud proudly celebrates Miss Dorothy Jean Patrud on the occasion of her 100th birthday. And as mayor of the city of St. Cloud, I declare this Pat Rudd Day. I'm not Jennifer. I'm Jennifer's other half of Paul. Um, we're just going to change things up just a little bit, not to freak anyone out. Um, but we just wanted to welcome everybody, and uh, we wanted to thank some specific groups. Um, and one of them we know is could be called out of here at any moment, and that's the, the police department. Um, we've been trying to get our mama right to to move, right? Because we want her, we want to be close to her. But she just loves this community so much, and it's a great community for her. So we we begrudgingly okay, we understand why she doesn't want to leave here. And one of the reasons that makes this a great community, and I'm sure you guys already know this, but kind of I'm gonna. Uh, give an unsolicited plug here for this police department. Um, I'm sure you guys know them and appreciate them, but uh, they really go above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, from last, I, I heard a number, and I don't know how accurate it is, but, but they were down like 18 officers or had lost 18 recently or, you know, or in the past. So, um, but they're still doing the best kind of police work, which is police work outside of the police department. Another group that um, makes it a little easier to have so many miles between us is the VA hospital. Um, in 2000, my grandmother had open heart surgery. Um, she was about 80 years old at that time. The doctors at the VA told her that the procedure would probably add about eight years to her life. Earlier today, there were people here setting up tables and chairs. Um, we just can't thank you all enough for being here today and for honoring our grandmother, who is an amazing person, and um, she deserves this special day. Thank you all for being here. to our nation and for your willingness to share your story with all of us. As a female veteran myself, I am both humbled and at awe getting to know Pat. She is such a joy and words can never say how grateful I am for her friendship. She is a living hero to me. And all I can do is simply thank her for being such a trailblazer for us women veterans. Pat graduated high school in 1939 and went to work at a factory sewing suits and top coats. She learned every job and was a quick study. Her high school principal helped her get a job in Danville, Illinois for the National Youth Administration. The purpose of the National Youth Administration was to help young people develop a trade and get jobs in the factories. Pat, I'm not gonna hurt your ears for singing, but I found a way song that you might recognize. Okay, it was by Betty St. Clair. Waves of the Navy, there's a ship sailing down the bay and she won't slip into port again until that victory day. Carry on for that gallant ship and for every hero brave who will find ashore his man-sized tour was done by a Navy wave. 
I will always be grateful to you, Pat. Thank you for your absolute amazing legacy. Thank you, Jennifer and speakers. We're gonna ask you to please sit back and relax as we present a musical tribute. And during that time, we'll be passing out cake. So not only will you get to have music, you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Pat's love of music is very well known. If you know Miss Rose, you know she likes music. But did you know that all the musicians here at the St. Cloud Community Center love her also? When we asked for volunteers, everyone wanted to be part of it. And so it is in her honor that so many volunteer to recreate the playlist of your life. And we're going to begin with the St. Cloud line dancers. I'm going to ask them to come forward. And as they take us back 100 years, you see, the Charleston dance phenomenon was a product of various cultural forces that originated in Africa.
<laughs> We're home, that's what it says. They're from all over the country. Whoa. Angels among us. Again, you don't have to answer them all tonight. <laughs> You've got a day or two. And I have more family could have been here, which I would have loved. But I count the blessing for all these groups of people. The police, the Council on Aging, the Eastern Star, the Masonic Lodge, uh, the um, Veterans Association, and all these people that are in business here have been so great to me. And I can't thank you enough. And God bless all of you for taking and honoring me at this time in my journey of life. God bless you all. Thank you. 